Hey guys, it's Andres again. And Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> that was too long, I think. You need to do it right away. 12 seconds late. It's Andres again. And Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is the worst. Um, what's happening? Like, we are going? moving to Tennessee uh, in the Smoky Mountains. Yeah, there's, there's no way. I don't know where to begin. I mean, there's so much stuff in our head. There's so many things to do. Yeah. There is no to-do list. We're just running around the house, trying to get stuff done, paperwork, things with the cars, with the RV, with a new trailer. So we will rewind. We went on a trip to the Smoky Mountains and that was kind of a little teaser for us moving there because we've been looking into starting vacation rentals for a while now. And we were thinking, okay, where do we plant our roots? Where is there gonna be enough tourism? Where is there gonna be good weather? Where can we raise our children? The list goes on and on, obviously. Yeah. Well, how did we come up with Tennessee? So Tennessee, we randomly came across a YouTube video of this guy named Rob Bilt, shout out. Yes, absolutely. Um, and we were like, ooh, we need to watch this video because we've been thinking about starting Airbnbs or vacation rentals. And we almost bought one in Flagstaff, but we got outbid by a cash offer. Mm -hmm. um, and then this video came up and we were like, okay, we have to watch this. And he, this guy, Rob, was like, I'm buying a place in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, which is around the Smoky Mountains National Park. Mm -hmm. And why is because tourism drives that town like crazy yeah. over 12 million people go there every year well, i hadn't ever heard of it <laughs> i knew about the smoky mountains and the appalachian trail but really gatlingburg and everything that's going on there i had no idea so basically within a few minutes of watching that video um we got really excited but we didn't even know anything about it we watched a bunch more videos on youtube mm -hmm. uh from glamping or Ga uh, gatlingburg statistics the next day we agreed that we should go there on a vacation because that was the only way to really get over this hurdle because we were ready to go. <laughs> so we booked flights really quickly and um, an Airbnb there. And once we got there, it was crazy. Yeah, it was beautiful. Beautiful. Just green everywhere. I mean, we're so used to the stucco and the gravel here in Phoenix. But over there, everything is green. It was beautiful. The weather was really nice. It was raining, which we don't mind at Loved. all. Yeah. Because in Phoenix, we don't see much rain. It can be very beautiful here, but since I'm born and raised, I knew I've been wanting to get out of Phoenix and raise our children somewhere else and live somewhere else with different weather. Yeah. And this is kind of the exact opposite. It's super lush and green. There's like waterfalls and rivers and creeks everywhere and just like beautiful trees. There's four yeah. seasons, which was super important to me. Mm -hmm. um, so I can't wait for the fall and the changing leaves and to feel cold. I haven't felt cold in like forever. <laughs> Basically that video we saw on YouTube was four weeks ago. Then three weeks ago, we flew to Tennessee. Two weeks ago, we came back from Tennessee. We looked at a bunch of land with a realtor we had already connected with yeah, before sure. we got there. Mm -hmm. He did a great sure. job for us. He showed us all around, drove yeah. us everywhere. We spent so many hours with him just learning about the area okay. and we absolutely loved it. And on the very last day, we ended up finding the exact place we wanted. Yep. We found the right piece of land. We saw a lot of land that was very steep or very far or close to bad neighbors, different things. Mm -hmm. But this last spot was actually amazing. So Super easy. we ended up putting an offer. In. It's just a raw piece of land. There's oh, nothing there. We're going to start oh. from scratch. Yep. It's going to be a big, big adventure. No. There is no utilities of any sort. So we have to set that up first. Yes. But <sighs> There's so much going on. It's like so, <laughs> so crazy. That's why, hence I look like this. And uh, I mean, the more I talk about it, the more I think all the stuff we gotta do, it's, it's, it's insane. Uh, we've done something like this in the past. Yeah. I mean, back in 2018, we went RVing full time. We quit our jobs, we sold our house. We basically sold all of the stuff we owned and we bought a truck and a travel trailer. We have yeah. never had a RV before. And we had our seven months old and we went and traveled yep. full time for five, five to six months yeah. or so. And we had a blast. It was mm -hmm. absolutely the best time of our lives. And in a way, this is that, but also a lot more. Yeah, <laughs> kind of times a hundred maybe. Not only we got two kids and a dog now, but it's just a lot going on. The RV is just now the vehicle for us to move from here to there. Yeah. But we have to move some cars. We got to sell. 
uh, this house, we gotta sell our rental property. So everything is happening very, very fast. Oh. We definitely have the advantage though, <laughs> that the yeah. market, it's absolutely a seller's market right now. Mm -hmm. So we sold our first condo about a month ago. Uh, we sold our last condo today, today. and we sold this house today. today. <laughs> uh, so uh, the market has been very, very easy. We're really enjoying our time selling everything right now. Uh, yeah. It could be very different. We're really getting lucky and just the timing Seriously. of it is working out in our favor. We're selling our house right now to an investor. It's a big investment company. They bought the house sight unseen. They don't even have pictures. We haven't even staged the house. We haven't cleaned it yet. But why are you so bummed that we're selling the cash and sight unseen? <laughs> because we decorated our house so cute and we like changed up a lot of the house. Let you look behind me. Um, like we have a really cool like feature wall. So yeah, Chelsea was super excited about decorating, just looking at Pinterest and different things. So we'll do a quick walkthrough. We're uh, in the master right now. We basically have here. There's Layla's room. Which one? Like this whole thing. Here we go. And then like just the decor. And then Grayson's room is super cool too. Chelsea's really good at finding stuff. Look at this cool feature wall that he built. <laughs> <laughs> Again, nothing's clean. I have a lot of toys to clean up and it's all a mess. But yeah, everything, basically the big stuff is either going to be sold or given to our friends. Yeah. The little stuff, we either throw it away or we keep it. We moved here actually less than a year ago. We really thought we were going to stay here for a while. But something really cool we made. We made this opening on the wall and we created a little playroom for Grace in here. He hasn't used it a whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's cooler for us. Yeah, but it is a really neat space. And here's the playroom again. And our cool bathroom, again, that I found oh, kind of with Pinterest. Feature a wall. Cool feature wall. And a custom made mirror. From the kitchen, we didn't touch. Forget this part. Our entry, I love this little nook. That Andres did, did a great job. It took a lot of time to just this put down a little bit of wallpaper. It took forever for yeah. Andres. I felt bad. <laughs> it was pretty frustrating. I knew exactly what to do, but in a much more real sense, I had no idea what to do. <laughs> okay. Okay, do you like that or not? I kind of do. Okay. It's like, now not only. Few moments later. Let me start looking at the Should... camera and then I'll start. Okay. <laughs> One eternity later. No. You bet your ass we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, I didn't know like, we're so didn't delirious. Know. Like, <laughs> much later. And what are we gonna do with that piece of land? We are going to build what's called unique stays, and we're building a well, multiple geodesic domes. Yeah, exactly. It's pretty much a kit that you can buy online. Uh, basically, the kit is just the the steel structure with a cover for a rain. Uh, and then you kind of do whatever you want inside as far as the, the floor, or if you want to put walls, if you want to put a bedroom. Uh, you can buy them different sizes as well. Um, so we've had um, just different ideas we're looking online uh, based on the different sizes. And it also depends on your site plan and how many you want to put in one place or how close. We really only seen the lot for a few minutes. I walked it with the realtor for maybe an mm -hmm. hour. And then I showed it to Chelsea the next day for 20 minutes or not even. Yeah. There were a lot of bugs and it was, the kids were not having a good time. <laughs> it was really funny. It was very chaotic. <laughs> the Grayson, Grayson was like freaking out. Yeah. There was like these little gnats that are like all around his face. So how many people or how many crews are we going to hire to basically build a driveway, uh, set up the glamping domes, and then eventually we need to set up something for ourselves. So we'll see what we live in. But. You're looking at the crew <laughs> right here. What? So, I, yeah, we're ready to get our hands dirty with this. What? I'm sure my family and friends think I'm crazy. So I'll just let you know, I've thought about all of this entire situation because I'm not super handy, but I can learn. But we're going to be doing a lot of manual labor. We're going to have to clear a ton of trees and... I don't even know what to yeah. expect. We're mentally prepared for it. Um, but I'm super excited because we've been dreaming about doing Airbnbs or like yes. vacation rentals. I can't wait for like the hospitality aspect of it and making sure people have incredible vacations. We want to make our glamping uh, structures very luxurious. So I want to make sure that they feel super comfortable and have a really great time in nature, but have the 
really cool accommodations, the luxuries that come with it. Outside of that business we're trying to build, we're just very excited about the small town life yeah. and a totally different life that Tennessee could bring. So yeah. We're excited. It's going to be an absolutely adventure, a massive adventure with kids and the dog and the RV and in the summer and we got to drive there about 1800 miles <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot going on oh man do we look tired yet 